Hey guys, today I'm here with my force, my force, my first order of business, which is going to be my Booktubeathon wrap up. So I was hoping to do a lot better this year than I did last year, and I don't actually remember how many books I read last year because I didn't film any of that. I just participated in the reading side side of things and kind of lurked and watched other people's videos while I didn't film anything. But this year. I'm actually going to film a wrap-up, and I did not achieve all the goals, but I achieved a couple of them, and I'm just going to get into what I read. And while in my TBR video I didn't double up on any challenges, I probably will in the wrap-up just to see how many of them I actually ended up finishing if I double up. So I read We Were Liars by E. Lockhart for a book with blue on the cover as well as a book that you really wanted to read. So I have been wanting to read this since everybody was obsessed with it last summer and kind of fell short for me. I gave it two stars. I really hated the ending. I've heard this is a book, I heard before I read it that this was a book that you either loved it or you hated it and I really hope to love it but I think I kind of hated it. But at the same time, it's a little bit complicated, which is why I'm going to film one of my first reviews on this book later on today. So you'll see this shirt again. But you'll get to hear more of my thoughts on this. And it wasn't a very long book. It didn't take me long at all to read, which is one of the reasons I actually completed this, because I had a lot going on that the week of Booktubeathon, and I didn't really expect my to be as busy as I was, or to be as you know, not motivated to read as I was when I had free time, because I had people, I had, a uh, my cousin Zoe was in town for the whole week, and so we were doing all this stuff together, and I really didn't want to just sit down and ignore her, although we did have some great reading times together, so shout out to Zoe, but then I went out of town that weekend with Zoe and with tons of other family, and we were out of town for the entire weekend that Booktubeathon was happening, and I actually just got back yesterday. So I was busy, and I failed. But, okay, so I read that one, and then I did complete the Complete a Book Without Letting Go of It challenge, which was the seance. Thank goodness I almost didn't get this challenge done, because I read it on the car ride to the place we were going out of town for the weekend and I started it like 30 minutes into the car ride and I was like I'm gonna get this done it's gonna be okay I won't have to do anything because I'm in a car I can't do anything else so I'll just read the book the whole time there were five pages left and we stopped at a gas station and I had to go in and buy my snacks and go to the bathroom and hold the book the whole time. I had to wash my hands while figuring out how to hold on to this book. But I did it. I did it. I am also going to be doing a review for this one. I guess just come I'm gonna do a review for every book that I read during Booktubeathon since there were only three of them and I really want to start doing more reviews on my channel so this has inspired me to do that. And yeah, more of my thoughts on this one. Later I gave this one three stars. The other book I read for Booktubeathon, I actually read The Seance last, but before that I read Burn for Burn by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian, and I read this for the challenge read a book by an author with the same first letter of their last name as yours, the first letter of my last name is an H, so Jenny Han. I actually enjoyed this the most out of all the books I read during Booktubeathon. I'm definitely going to be finishing up this trilogy. I think the second one is Fire with Fire and the third one is Ashes to Ashes. But it was really good. I actually kind of predicted the way the end would happen, but there were still some parts of it that I was like, wow, I never, I never thought of that. But it's always with some, with these revenge books, you can kind of guess, you know, this is probably not going to go well, even though they expect it to. Something's going to end badly for one of the people doing revenge, so, but... Regardless, I did enjoy it, and I am excited to read the rest of the series. So I'm, like I said, also doing a review on this one. I gave this one, I gave this one a four out of five stars. So these are all the books I read for Booktubeathon. I am very proud of what I did, even though I really failed with what my TBR had in stock, but I had a lot to do, and I got a lot done with what I had to do and how busy I was. 
So I'm pretty proud of myself regardless. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Also, big disclaimer, or big announcement kind of thing. I only uploaded my Domino's challenge in time for it to be in the contest, in the giveaway for that day, but I actually also filmed the book tower challenge kind of thing that Little Book Owl did, and I filmed it and I never edited it and got it up in time, so I'm still going to edit it and upload it. Obviously, the giveaway is long over, but it's still enjoyable. I built Hogwarts, so I'm pretty proud of myself for that, and Zoe actually helped me with it, so she's in that video a little bit. But yeah, I figure it's still pretty cool. I'm still pretty proud of it, so I'm gonna upload that, and you guys can see that. So yeah, hopefully I'll get this up within the next couple of hours and get started on editing all that other stuff and filming all these reviews that I've now announced that I'm going to do. So I will see you guys next time, but until then, Keep reading.